Hi, hi. This is your friend and your brother, Doc Mountain. I welcome you to my YouTube channel. If it's your first time visiting this channel, I urge you to go ahead and smash the like button and uh, don't forget to subscribe. After, don't forget to share the video with as many people as you can. Without any further ado, let's get into things. So we get a problem here, which was extracted from one of the parts papers. Science Paper 1, 2012. So the problem reads, the figure below shows a circuit diagram. Uh, we, we have the potential difference across the, the battery, which is 3 volts. Here we have an ammeter with the reading 0 0.5 amperes. We also have this resistor whose value isn't yet known. Then we have that other one whose value is 1 ohm. So now the question is, the value, what's the value of the resistor R? So now here, what you need to realize is that the resistors are actually connected in series. So now for you to find the total resistance or the equivalent resistor of these two resistors, we use the formula resistor equivalence is equal to R1 plus R2. So now here, what we're going to do is we're going to say RE, which is equivalent resistance, is equal to R1, that's the one whose value we don't know, plus R2, which is 1. Now the thing is, R and 1 are like terms, so we can't add them, so we leave them the way they are. So now, for you to determine resistance, we can actually apply the formula for Holmes law. We can apply Holmes law, which is which says that a resistance is equal to voltage over current. So we can collect the data this side. We say a voltage is equal to three volts. That's the potential difference, the EMF, and then current has been given to be 0 0.5. So that we can plug these values, that value of equivalent resistance, the value of the potential difference, the value of current, into Holmes law. So here where there is total resistance of the entire circuit, that's R plus 1. So that's what I will write this side, R plus 1. I've substituted R with these values, it is equal to voltage is 3 and then current is 0 0.5 uh, so now what we have is a fraction this side and then we have these terms on the left side of the equation I hope you get rid of the fractions for you to solve for R you have to introduce someone here and then you cross multiply so later on, what we are going to end up with is actually this times that, which is uh, 0 0.5 times uh, R plus 1, which is equal to 1 times 3, that's a 3. So 0 0.5 times R, we're going to have 0 0.5 R, then plus 0 0.5 times 1, that's 0 0.5. Which is equal to, and then we have uh, three that side. So what we have is a linear equation in one and all variable. So we need to collect the like terms. So here we have to add the additive index of 0 0.5. That's negative 0 0.5. What we do this side is what we do even on the other side. That would be negative 0 0.5. So this and that will cancel. We're going to remain with 0.5 R is equal to 3 minus 0.5 minus 0.5. So 0 minus 5, that can be worked out. We get a 1 from there. We remain with a 2. That becomes a 10. 10 minus 5, that's a 5. 2 minus 0. That's a 2. So that's 2.5. 2.5.
2.5. So now our interest is to find the value of R. So what do we do? We divide both sides by 0.5. 0 0.5, this side, this side, we remain with R, which equals 2. Uh, so now, for you to resolve this, what you need to do is you consider the number of decimal places at the bottom here. There is one decimal place, so we multiply by 10. What you do at the bottom is what you do even on top. So when you multiply 0 0.5 by 10, the decimal point will move to the right. So we're going to have 5.0. So that's a 5. On top here, the decimal point will move to the right as well, since we only, we only have one zero there. So that will become 25. So resistance is equal to 5 into 25 plus 5. So now R equates to 5. So we can say therefore the value of the resistance of this resistor is equal to 5 ohms. So that's how we go about these things. If uh, you have been helped in one or the other, don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section and don't forget to like the video. Stay blessed.